Several weeks after their return, Brienne visits Marjorie Tyrell. After enduring Olena Tyrell's melodrama regarding her appearance and her gratitude for putting Loris in his place, Brienne and Marjorie slip off to discuss Renly's assassination. Brienne explains what she saw and how the shadow had Stannis's face, and assures Marjorie that she will find a way to avenge their king. Marjorie reminds Brienne that Joffrey is their king now. Brienne apologizes for any offense given, but Marjorie assures her that none was taken. Later that day, Brienne meets with Jamie near the Red Keep's Godswood to discuss the Stark girls. Jamie seems uninterested in fulfilling his promise to the now deceased Catelyn, telling Brienne that Arya has not been seen for months and is probably dead, and Sansa is now his sister in law. Brienne demands that Jamie look her in the eye and say that Sansa is safe in King's Landing. Jamie is unable to do so. Brienne is present at the wedding feast of King Joffrey and Queen Marjorie. She greets the king and queen with a bow which earns her a brash reaction from Cersei. Joffrey mistakes her for the one who assassinated Renly Baratheon, which Marjorie quickly corrects. Right after, Cersei thanks her for bringing her brother back to King's Landing safely. Brienne adds that Jaime saved her on multiple occasions, which irritates Cersei. Cersei finds it interesting that Brienne served Renly, followed by Catelyn, and now Jaime. Brienne states that she does not serve her brother, but Cersei wonders aloud if Brienne is in love with him. Brienne does not answer the question before leaving. Following Sansa's escape from King's Landing, Jaime tasks Brienne with finding her and taking her somewhere safe, far away from his sister. As parting gifts, he gives her a new suit of armor and lets her keep his Valyrian steel sword, as it was reforged from Eddard Stark's great sword ice, and it would be appropriate to protect Ned Stark's daughter with a sword forged from his. He also sends her Tyrion's former squire Podrick Payne to accompany Brienne on her travels. During an emotional farewell on the King's Road, Jaime asks her to name the sword, and after a moment's thought, she chooses to call it, Oathkeeper. While on the road, Podrick proves to be more a hindrance than a help to Brienne. He has problems with his horse and accidentally sets fire to a rabbit they were cooking. Brienne tries to get rid of Podrick by releasing him from the vow he swore as her squire, but to no avail. They are bound for Castle Black, where Brienne believes Sansa may have taken refuge with her half-brother, Jon Snow. Brienne questions Podrick about his duties as squire to Tyrion. He tells her his job was mostly pouring wine, alongside other menial tasks. Brienne then asks if Podrick did anything related to combat. Podrick reveals how he killed Sir Mandon Moore of the Kingsguard by shoving a spear through his head when he tried to kill Tyrion. Brienne then allows Podrick to help her remove her armor. Later on, Brienne and Pod stop at an inn where they are served kidney pie made by Hot Pie, who tells them at length the process in finding the right ingredients. Brienne tells him that she is in Catelyn's service and is sworn to find and protect Sansa. Hot Pie backs off, declaring the Starks traitors. As Brienne and Podrick prepare to leave the inn, Podrick reminds Brienne that telling people of their quest could be dangerous, but Brienne's honesty is swiftly rewarded when Hot Pie approaches and gives them some bread baked in the shape of a wolf. He adds that while he knows nothing of Sansa, he has seen her sister Arya, who was in the company of a man who matches the description of the Hound. Podrick, having memorized the complex family trees of the Great Houses, suggests that they head to the Eyrie, home of Lysa Arryn, Arya's aunt and the Hound's last chance for a ransom, which seems to impress Brienne, who questions why Arya would go the Eyrie. En route to the Bloody Gate, Brienne and Podrick stumble upon Arya and the Hound, who have just returned from the Eyrie after learning of Lysa's death and assume that it a reward for turning her cloak to Lannisters. Arya is wary and refuses, suspecting she is working for the Lannisters after the Hound points out the golden Lannister lion on Oathkeeper's hilt. He sneers that there is no safety for Arya, as all her adult relatives are either dead or captured, and Winterfell is a ruin. When the Hound cites that, if she is unaware that nowhere is safe then she is unfit to protect Arya, she retorts that he is embracing such a fact and protecting her anyway. Both warrior draw swords at this. The fight descends rapidly into violent fisticuffs, in which Brienne shatters Sandor's teeth, which he returns with a heavy punch to gut. Brienne ultimately wins by pushing him down a cliff, collapsing exhausted on the ground following the fight. When she returns to Podrick, who was supposed to be keeping an eye on Arya, but was watching the fight instead, Arya is gone. Exhausted and infuriated by her fight with the Hound, Brienne screams Arya's name repeatedly, while Arya sneaks away from them. 